Okay, so I want you guys really watch this my reaction to this because this is probably going to be really important. SpongeBob scenes that are different in other countries. Well, let's see how this would go. I mean, even for as you don't know, I am from the USA. I'm American, you know. I'm American. Like America, America forever. I'm American. And they say for different countries. So let's see how this will turn out. Did you know that in certain countries, Patrick and SpongeBob are considered literally a danger to society? It doesn't seem right. Oh, man. But, but it feels, feels so, so good. good. So can you imagine that some scenes were banned or completely modified so that certain episodes could be aired oh. outside the U.S.? SpongeBob SquarePants is definitely one of the most popular cartoons in the world, although it is not universally loved. For instance, in the episode Squidville, I mean, we witness a terrible incident. I mean, yeah, the model SpongeBob is really different. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love old and new SpongeBob because I'm a big SpongeBob fan. You see my hoodie right here. Actually, this is a new hoodie I got, so, so yeah, you get the point. Where Squidward tries to sell his, in quotation marks, artworks at the Krusty Krab, which doesn't go so well. I remember this episode, it's kind of sad. Mr. Krab sees an opportunity to make a lot of money and decides to remove Squidward from circulation. Yeah, this episode was a little mediocre, which was, was kind of sad. And this entire scene was cut in the United Kingdom because, well, that's not the right way to treat an employee, especially over money. Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sad, you know. That's disgusting. Apart from this scene, we also have found other instances that you may have no idea had to be altered or even removed in other countries. Yeah, Jellyfish not... Jam. Jellyfish Jam! Jam. This was probably one of my my awesome episodes from that decade. Okay, because it's his prerogative, right? And one of the things he loves to do... SpongeBob loves catching jellyfishes. In the seventh episode of the first season, a jellyfish follows him home and becomes, as he puts it, his new pet. So they go home mm -hmm. and simply throw a rave style party. Yeah, I love that scene. Everything. Music, lots of lights, and of course, plenty of dancing. And for yeah. this reason, this episode was completely prohibited from airing in Poland. Not because what? of the content itself, but because of the light show, which they claim could affect photosensitive or epileptic children. Isn't this that cartoon that causes seizures? <laughs> Hey, yo, come on. Are you kidding me? They have to remove that? At Poland? Well, that's not surprising. I mean, I love this episode of Jellyfish Jam. Because it was one of my awesome favorite episodes back from 1999 I watched as a kid and just now. Although, I remember watching this as a kid and I probably danced when I was little, so... Didn't pay attention much, but this was really sad because I loved this episode because it was really a job at the same time, and especially it was so amazing. But this is really sad. With a jellyfish is truly insanely fun. Something smells. Oh this yeah, when SpongeBob season, with his sturdy breath. It's the famous episode where SpongeBob. Look at it! I want you to look at it. that don't have the most pleasant smell, like ketchup, slightly rotten peanuts. And onions. Oh my. It gives yeah. him the worst breath in history, and it simply repels everyone <clears throat> around him. And Patrick, Sorry, who has no sense that. of smell, thinks it's because of SpongeBob's. Oh, here comes it's the meme with this. Because you're ugly. Yeah. Ugly. Baby's the way you dress. You gotta be kidding. But you know what's funny? The scene that was cut from the cartoon in the UK and Ireland was exactly when SpongeBob was cutting the onions to make the weird Sunday. Oh so boy! Why did they have to cancel? Like, why did they have to that? To have accidents with knives at home. Help That's kind of sad. For example, did you oh, the, the first episode. The ah, yes, the classic first episode. Be cut to air in a European country. In this introductory episode. Besides getting to know some of the most important characters in the show, we see Bob's first day of work at the Krusty Krab. And after a horde of hungry fish invades Mr. Krab's establishment, we see SpongeBob making lots of Krabby Patties and a triumphant entrance with his hydrodynamic spatula. The detail is that in the background, a song by singer Tiny Tim is playing. Yep. Rest in peace, Tiny Tim. And that part with the music was simply cut in Italy. Why? Why? I have no idea. What is with that country? The music or the singer Tiny Tim. The That's sad. In this episode of the second season, 
we see Patrick and Bob having to take care of Ah, uh, yeah, pets. Wormy. One of those pets is a little caterpillar. Well, the close-up was so cut and scary. And point, <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't really much pay attention to this episode, this but I really made sure I really... Like, this episode was probably one of the craziest ones. However, that song was completely cut in the version that aired... Oh, come on! It was a really great thing for Spongebob and Patrick playing with Wormy. Come on now. What is going on with these countries, man? Why can't we move some of those episode clips? Oh no, it's the nasty patty. Let me guess, they really sourced the dad and banned from that country too? Let me guess. It's bizarre. I think everyone agrees. That's the most it's disgusting now. <laughs> I remember seeing this episode as a kid, by the way, as well. Yep, I knew it. I knew it, to be honest. This is not for those with a more sensitive stomach. It even made me feel a bit queasy. Sandy, in some cases, it's not scenes that are modified, but entire characters, at least in some moments. And this happens mainly in some countries where certain behaviors common in the West are considered inappropriate. One of these countries is Let me Iran, guess. which for a while tried to prevent the full broadcast of Western shows on its television channels. Since that idea didn't work out very well, they decided to allow the shows again, but with modifications that would make the program more suitable for Iranians. And that's what happened with Sandy's character. She, who is female, normally has two different outfits. The most common one is her astronaut suit, which we always see her wearing. But we exactly. also see her when she's in her oxygen-filled home, dressed in a bikini. However, women are currently not allowed to wear bikinis in Iran. For this reason, every time Sandy appeared dressed in that way, Iranian TV made some modifications, dressing her in a long dress that goes past the knees, as directed by the Muslim religion. That's huh. why not just one, but several scenes in Spongebob where Sandy appears are modified in Iran. Band geeks. That's four moments. Ah, oh, come on! One of the best episodes of the entire series. That's gonna be on now. Band geeks. We see Squidward's rival, Squilliam, who sort of challenges his former colleague. So Squidward so we need more episodes of Squilliam. With everyone he knows from Bikini Bottom. After a while, they will perform on the surface at a football game. Do you realize yep. how crazy that is? One of my is? most favorites. But it's okay because it's just another episode of SpongeBob. In their absolutely incredible musical performance at the stadium, it's one of the best episodes of the entire song, series. Sweet victory. For this reason, at least I believe, this entire segment that includes the song was completely cut in Iran and Italy. It's the thrill of one. Why? Dude, you, you gotta be kidding. They have to remove the sweet victory from that country? This is the best episode of the entire series! Are you kidding me? They got to remove the best episode of the entire series from that country? You're lucky it's not in the USA! Because I still watch this episode every year when I see this episode. I'm sweet fit doing one of my most favorite episodes in the entire series. I, I cannot believe it. I, I just cannot believe it. This is so sad. So, so sad. This is, this is one of my favorite, best episodes in the entire series. I'm not really kidding. Doing that that way. When jumping off the diving board inside his own room, which is kind of eccentric, SpongeBob says to Gary that he's naked and jumps, leaving his underwear behind and immediately oh landing in his usual uniform. And it's precisely for this reason that the scene was deleted in Indonesia. The country with the largest Muslim population in the world. The language was considered somewhat inappropriate, and therefore it was cut from the editing before being broadcasted. SpongeBob versus Whoa. the big one. In the eleventh episode of the sixth season, something very interesting happens. This episode in the United States was called SpongeBob versus the Big One. Patrick. Oh yeah, when there was the the a surfing Island dude with some that. strange surfers. And they spend the rest of the episode trying to return to Bikini Bottom. Exactly. To do that, they it was a really great session, not gonna lie. One, a giant wave. But what's strange about the episode? This time, nothing. But the title was changed in several countries. In Why? Poland, Spain and Brazil, they thought it would be better to adapt the title of the episode. They changed it to SpongeBob versus the Big Wave. 
in Germany, they changed it to Surfer M. Start. In Australia, Lithuania, and Latvia, the title was changed to Kahuna Laguna Secret. It huh. seems that the term yeah. one didn't make much sense in those places. In my, in my country, Oscar, in my state, in it's always said Spider-Man vs. the big one. Throughout one of the Halloween episodes, after receiving well, a phone call from a strange voice, That's why. which turned out to be a customer placing an order, we see something strange happening. At the same time, the lights the Krusty Krab kept flickering. In the end, no, so lights as a prank was none other than Nosferatu, <laughs> a terrifying and alternative version of Count Dracula from the 1920s. <laughs> I like him, to be exactly honest. That's exactly why the scene with yeah, the I really like him. from horror movies was cut. At least we probably get to see there, it was considered too scary for younger viewers. Scary oh, boy, so I'm not fun. that scale of him. Halloween Come on. We see that the Flying Dutchman is tormenting and scaring everyone. So SpongeBob has the brilliant idea of scaring everyone at the Krusty Krab. He asked Patrick to trim his sponges oh, with a razor. I mean, they sussed that. Certainly I tell you what, some of the, the countries, however, they, they, they have not really like to remove some great creepy SpongeBob scenes, huh? It I mean, I don't blame them, but it, I mean, at least uh, that was only just for one episode. I mean, seriously, that was only for like one episode. Do you remember watching any of these episodes? I remember seeing all of them. Are you aware that they had to be changed to air in other countries? Tell us about it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe I mean, to the channel. See you next time. I cannot believe what they really had to remove some of the best episodes that I watch. Like Ben Guess as an example of the Sweet Fit Dewey. That that really made me upset for a minute. That, it's one of the best episodes in the entire series. I cannot believe some of the other episodes that I watched. I remember seeing every single one that he just put on now, and that was just sad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it was just upsetting to see what some country states have to do these days. I mean, I guess some people are really different, and I have to respect that. So, they're different, I understand, and I really understand. So, you get the point. It's very upsetting for some that I just saw, but overall, it is what it is. But anyway guys, that is it for today guys. Hope everyone have a good rest of your day. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Pinway down below y'all. And as always y'all, see you all next time. Deuces.